Good evening, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to listen to some gospel messages. Wouldn't it be an amazing thing if a person didn't have to die? If we could live life on this earth and never have to face death? Well, you know, I'd like to read a verse to you from the Bible, which offers an amazing opportunity for each and every person on the face of the earth. Listen to these words. Romans chapter 5, verse 6. God declares his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know, that's saying that he died in our place. When he came from heaven, it, he was God, as God manifest in the flesh. The purpose in his coming was to go to that cross to be nailed to that cross by men that he came to save and to die in the place of sinners. So you know, dear friend, tonight, that verse offers you an amazing opportunity of having your sins forgiven and of escaping that penalty, death because of your sins. You know, how can we escape death? It's because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, we are going to die because of our sins. Death refers to far more than just the death of the body. It, it refers to the eternal suffering of that soul of yours under the judgment of God, a suffering that we can never escape from because we can never satisfy God for the sins that we have committed. But the Lord Jesus, because he is God and because he is holy and because he could not sin, he was able to hang on that cross that while God laid our sins on him to suffer for those sins, to bow his head and give up his, his spirit unto God and to rise again from the dead the third day, all so that you would not have to die for your sins. My dear friend, tonight this can be yours. Yes, the body is going to die, but the moment that body dies of every person who has trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ as their own Savior, as the Apostle Paul said, it is absent from the body and present with the Lord. The soul and the spirit go immediately to heaven, waiting for the day when the Lord Jesus Christ will come back and that body will rise from the grave and we will be forever with the Lord, body, soul, and spirit. That life you see is not like the life we live on this earth. It is far better. It is a life without pain, without sorrow, without suffering. It is the life of God that he wants to give you. The Lord Jesus Christ said, He that believeth on me has everlasting life. It's something that you will not get after you die, but it's something that you can get right now. He said, Truly, truly, I say unto you, He that believes on me has everlasting life. You see, you can pass from death unto life today. You can go away today with the full realization that even though your body dies, that yet you will never die. The, the Lord Jesus Christ, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Do you believe this? You know, why should we believe it? Should you believe it because I say it? No, but you can believe it because the Lord Jesus Christ himself said it. My dear friend, why not take that verse that he quoted from John chapter 6, verse 20, 47 that I've already quoted. The Lord Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth in me has everlasting life. Why not claim that today? You have a right to claim that. You know, it, it tells us in John chapter 1, to as many as received him, Jesus, to them gave he power to, or the right to become the children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Jesus means God your Savior. Is he your Savior? If not, why simply believe his words, the one who cannot lie, Believe in him who died on the cross for you. Believe in him who came to save you from death 
and to give you everlasting life. My dear friend, why not rest in that fact of the one who came, the one who died, and the one who rose again, that he is the one who came for you? Are you a sinner? This is Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. God commends his love towards us, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for sinners. Are you a sinner? Are you facing the judgment of God? If you are, then you're the one that he came to die for. Just simply believe in him today, and you will know that you have everlasting life. Thank you for listening. Please tune back again. 